the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. In the waters of baptism, Rosie died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May she now share with him eternal glory. Let us pray. O God, Almighty Father, our faith profess that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through these mysteries your servant Rosie, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Now uh, I invite Christina to come forward to do the, sec the first reading. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered Bildad, the Shuhite, and said, Oh, would that my words were written down. Would that they were inscribed in a record, that with an iron chisel and with lead they were cut into the rock forever. But as for me, I know that my vindicator lives, and that he will at last stand forth upon the dust, whom I myself shall see, my own eyes, not another's, shall behold him and from my flesh I, s I shall see God. My inmost being is consumed with longing. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall 
Beside restful waters, He leads me, He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for His name's sake, even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side, with your rod and your staff, that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to Please, Lauren, to come forward to do the second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. For Christ, while we were still helpless, died at the appointed time for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person, though perhaps for a good person one might even find the courage to die. But God proves his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. How much more then, since we are now justified by his blood, will we be saved through him from the wrath? Indeed, if, we, indeed, if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son. How much more, once reconciled, will we be saved by his life? Not only that, but we also boast of God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. foundation of the world. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus told, says to his disciples, 
Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's in places, if there were not, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Dear Joseph, Mark, John, children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren of our dear Rosie, friends, other members of the families, brothers and sisters, on behalf of our parish, since Pastor Father Patrick West, myself, Father Elvin Torres, express once again our condolences for the loss of a beloved one, a mother, grandmother a friend, good friend. Assure our prayers for you, especially that the Lord bring you comfort and peace, especially in this difficult time. And of course, asking God to have mercy of her soul and take her to a place of rest. We have heard in the first reading, uh, Job talking, that he knows but as for me, he says, I know that my vindicator lives and that he will at last stand forth upon the dust, whom I myself shall see. I think today Rose take the word of the prophet Job and says the same thing, whom I myself shall see. Now she's going, she's going to the presence of the Lord, her creator. And why we are here today? It's a question that I love to ask people in funeral masses. Most of the time the answer will be, it's no logic, because someone we love die. No, we are not here because Rosie died. How? We are here because of our faith, our faith in, in Jesus Christ, I'm sure. If we didn't have faith, we would be somewhere else, but not here in the church. But we are here because as a Christian, as a Catholic, we believe that death is not the end. Quite the opposite, the beginning of the real life. God has made us for himself, says St. Augustine. And our soul, our spirit, we will say, another translation, will be restless until it rests in you. We are here because of our faith in Jesus Christ, because we know that he died. But he didn't stay in the tomb. He rose again and opened for each one of us the gate of heaven. So one day we can go where? To the place that we belong. What's the place that we belong? I think we have heard very clear in the gospel what Jesus says. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself. So where I am, says Jesus, you also may be. And that's our place. That the place that we belong that the place that God himself has created for each one of us, especially for our sister Rosie. We have been baptized. When we were incorporated, we were put in the life of Christ himself. So that's why we can call God Father, our Father, as Rose called him the whole life, him whom she worshiped, believed, the one who has the primacy in her life. And we know that because Christ died and rose again, 
one day we are going to join him to join our sister Rosie forever. That's the place that we belong. Why, how we know that? Because as the record, second reading that Lord in red says, we have been justified by him. A question that I asked to myself when I was younger was, but who is just? Who can stand before the Lord if we all are sinners? Who? Nobody. Just Christ, the only begotten Son of God. But guess what? He poured out his blood on the cross to wash away our sins. So he justified us and he reconciled us to God, our Father, his Father. We have been reconciled, we have been washed from our sins. Rose believed in Christ her whole life. She know and not only believe in him, but she passed on the faith on the children, Mark, Joseph, and Joanne. Now, your job is keep passing the faith, the faith in Jesus Christ, the faith that gathered us here, the faith she professed with her, her whole life. We ask the Lord today to have mercy and rules, and because we are human and we are weak, that gather her to himself to have mercy on her. But also, at the same time, we ask the Lord to help us to prepare ourselves. Because one day, and that's not the intention to live in fear, but because we know that one day we have to go back to the place that we belong, heaven. Who was Rose? Yesterday, I, I think I have never laughed that much as I did yesterday when I was meeting the family just to realize how wonderful she was. The gift she is, a gift from God to each one of you, but not only for you, but for our society. A very faithful Catholic who taught their faith to the children and now you have to pass on not only the children but the God children the faith in Jesus Christ our Lord, our Redeemer. A very jelly person, very social, which sometimes we think that our society today lack of this personal relationship with others. She truly knew how to enjoy her life, even playing bingo, chewing gum, playing Candy Cross in her phone, which I was amazed, 99 years, and she was able to still texting, sending texts. What does it mean? It means to be present in the life of someone that you love. So I think for each one of us is a great example how to be there in different ways and forms for those who need me, for those who maybe, who maybe need to laugh, to smile. That was Rose, not only for you, but for our society. She discovered the beauty of life. Sometimes we see her ruby nails, sometimes doing what she loved the most with the ceramic, reading, getting knowledge, understanding. A great person, God has given you a great gift, a great gift. Now, your responsibility, now, Rose's life it's like a grain of weed which have to die in order to be planted in each one of your heart. And now it's your responsibility to reproduce all the good she did. And if you do that, this world, our society, will be a better place to live. We ask God today to have mercy on her. He is her father. He will take good care of her for sure. And we ask the Lord also to give, you, to give you comfort and peace in this moment of suffering. May God bless you.
please stand. My brothers and sisters, God, the Almighty Father, raised Jesus, raised Christ, his son from the dead. With confidence, we ask him to save all his people, living and dead. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayers. For Rosie, whom in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that she may now be admitted to the company of the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sister Rosie, who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that she may be raised up on the last day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends, especially Anthony, Rose's son, and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face, let us pray to the Lord. For the family and friends of our sister Rosie, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Now I invite Mike, Joseph, and Joanne to bring the gift to the altar. May the Lord receive the offering of his holy people and bless you to bring you to his altar in the name of the Father, the Son.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the whole of his holy church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Rose, we beseech your mercy that she, who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior, may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him, the hope of the blessed resurrection has done, that those saddened by the searching of, day, of death may be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts of and with all the hosts of and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, indeed holy O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your Son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so from the rising of the Sun to Tzeri a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O Lord we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Sebastian, our patron saint, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Rosie, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will rise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages, and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, yours now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your you. spirit. Peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For the Holy Communion, I will be at my right, hand, right side of the casket, distributing Holy Communion for those who are prepared. Those who are not, please join us praying from your pews.
bread and wine to share a meal. Sign of grace and mercy, the presence of the Lord. We remember how you loved us to your death, and still we celebrate for you. Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our sister Rosie may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The family one more advice, hold firm the faith that our sister Rosie uh, passed on to you. Uh, the Lord is with you. He, is, he has been always with you. You're not going to leave you alone in this time. We keep praying for them, not only for the family, for also the repose of our sister Rosie. My brothers and sisters, trusting in God, we have prayed together for Rosie, and now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Rosie again and enjoy her friendship. Although this congregation 
will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. In paradisum deducante angeli in tuo adventu suscipiante martires et perducante Tem Santa Jerusalem, chorus angelorum, te suscipiat et cum Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Rosie in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessing which you bestow upon her in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and our fellowship with the saint in Christ. Merciful God, Turn to us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with the assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our sister Rosie forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, in peace, let us take our sister Rosie to her place of rest.
Rosie, may the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Be.